Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're just gonna hop right into this get ready with me. So I'm gonna start by priming my eyes. I like to use concealer. I'm using the NARS uh, Medium Dark 2 Caramel to conceal my eyes. Um, and then we're just gonna hop right into eyeshadow. So I'm gonna be taking the Per Festival eyeshadow palette and the first shade I'm picking up is Epic and it's kind of like a sandy orange shade. And I like to use that to set the, um, the concealer just because it's a really nice transition shade um, it's a neutral color, so it's the perfect shade as the base. Um, next, I'm going to go in with the Hidden Desert, which is kind of like a rusty orange reddish, like a deep, 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 deep orange shade. Now, I'm going to apply that in the crease area and blend that out. Um, and I just really like working with these orangey red colors. They just look really, really, really nice on my eyes. Um, so to contour my outer corner, I'm going to take All Night, which is like a deep, deep brown, dark brown shade. I'm going to use that just to kind of give my eye um, a little bit of shape. And then for the color on my lid, I'm taking Psychedelic. Such a cute name. Actually, all the names in these um, in this palette are like really, really pretty. Kind of like hippie a little bit. Um, granted, it's like festival, you know. But it, this shade is going to be like a, a gold shade and the pigment in these eyeshadow palettes are really, really nice. Like I didn't even like grab a whole lot on my brush and it looks so nice. Next I'm going to go in with my primer and this is the Lancome La Boss Primer and this is a silicone primer actually. So this is just going to help um, create a really, really smooth, perfect base for foundation. And then this primer also helps with minimizing pores as well. The foundation I'm going to be using is the foundation I wear all the time. It's the NARS Stay All Day Luminous Foundation. I think that's how you say it. I always get the name wrong. But I wear this foundation all the time. I just haven't found a foundation that really gives me the type of coverage and finish that this one does. But um, this one is in the shade Tahoe. And I feel like this color is a little bit too light. I know on the camera it seems like it looks good, but like in person, just from like taking pictures and just looking at my face in like certain lighting, I feel like it looks too light for me. And I always hop between the Tahoe one and then I hop and then, um, what is it called? Candy. So I'm always in between Tahoe and Candy. Sometimes Candy's comes off a little bit too red for me. And then sometimes Tahoe is just too light. So honestly, maybe I just need to like mix them. But this is the foundation I always wear. Definitely recommend it. And of course, I'm going to be using NARS concealer as well. And this is the Soft Matte Concealer in Medium um, Dark 2 Caramel. And this is the Fuller Coverage Concealers. So NARS has two different types of concealers. They have like the Radiant one, which is more like medium to full coverage. It's, it's buildable. Um, and it gives off a more radiant type of look versus the Soft Matte ones are a little bit more mattifying um, and they're more fuller coverage. So I like to just stick with the family. Um, it looks a lot better to me when I stick with the family. <laughs> the second concealer I'm gonna be using is again, the NARS Soft Matte Cream. And this is in the shade Medium One Custard. And I use this shade to highlight. I used to do different concealers, one to conceal and then one to highlight. I know that's a little extra, but I just like the, the coverage that it gives me when I use both um, versus just doing one like um, highlight color. So I'm just gonna blend that out with my Beauty Blender. To contour my face, I'm going to be using the Lancome um, TIU foundation stick, and this is in the shade 500. And I usually like to do a cream contour first, and then I'll go in with the powder to set it. To blend it out, I'm just going to be using kind of like a dense brush a little bit, just to kind of blend that out really, really good. I feel like sometimes when you are using sticks, like concealer foundations, they tend to be, a, you have to kind of work with them a little bit to blend them out. They're not as easy as like liquid. Um, yeah, so to set my highlight, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier setting powder. This is the translucent setting powder. This is the only setting powder I use. It gives me no flashbacks. It doesn't make me look too white. I've tried like multiple different 
um, setting powders and this one has just been like the best to me so I just stick with it because it works for me so you know don't fix it if it's not broken <laughs> learn that along the way with makeup if it works with you if it works for you just stick with it um because you know if you switch up you don't end up liking it it's just it's a process you don't have to go through all of that to um bronze my face i'm going to be using the lancome um powder in the shade 500 and it's actually the same shade as the the contour stick that I use are both in 500 and they kind of correlate so if you wear foundation in the shade 500 in Lancome then you're going to be 500 in the powder as well so next I'm going to be using um this is the Il Maquillage blush in the shade Toxic Mineral Baked Blush I tend to be very careful with this blush um, because a little bit does go a long way so for my highlight, I'm going to be using my favorite, Artist Couture. This is my favorite, 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 favorite highlight, you guys. Like, I'd rather use um, loose powder than pressed powder when it comes to highlight because I just feel like you could see it way more. You know what I mean? And this is in the shade Summer Haze. Um, this is actually one of my newest shades that I just caught. It came in my, um, what is it called? My beauty box, beauty my monthly subscription or whatever so I was pretty excited because there's a lot of good stuff in that one so to smoke out my bottom I am gonna go back in with that burnt orange shade and that's in hidden desert I'm just going to apply that right underneath my eye um, kind of blend it out smoke it out a bit just to kind of give me more of like a sultry look and now moving on to the lips my favorite part this is my favorite combination you guys i probably wear this in every single tutorial that i do just because it works with literally every single look but i'm going to be using a brown liner this one is actually from il maquillage and then i go in with my nyx um soft matte in number four so that's pretty much the finished look for today's makeup tutorial i'm not going to show you guys my outfit for today these shoes are from See Me Shoes, and let's get into this outfit, sis. So I have this uh, off-the-shoulder uh, top crop top from Pretty Little Thing, and these high-waisted black shorts are from Fashion Nova. The bag that I'm wearing is from Teddy Blake, and it's 100% genuine Italian leather, you guys. You could just really tell how high quality this bag is and how they just paid really close attention to detail. And it just kind of has like an imaginative design and shape to it, especially with the diamonds and the triangle cut out in the front. It's really, really nice. And I especially love that it comes with this little um, pocket wallet inside of the bag that's attached to it to where you could put like your car keys, your um, money, phone, anything like that can go in there. Um, and this bag can really just work with many different types of styles. Um, I have on like shorts and a crop top, so it's very, very casual, but you can definitely dress this bag up for sure. Um, just because it has a lot of versatility within the bag itself. Um, and it's really cool. Teddy Blake has new releases coming out every single month. Um, so I definitely encourage you guys to go ahead and check out their website. Um, I love their, their, a lot of their pieces because it looks very, very high end, but for a very affordable price. Um, so definitely check them out. I will leave my code, um, down below as well, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.